Hey everyone, it is Pat from PopularMMOs.com again, and I am going to finish my first look video for RuneScape. I didn't want to end it where it was before because I thought you guys might want to see some other stuff about the game. So we're going to continue, and it says that we need to pickpocket someone, and this is going to be your thieving skill, which is pretty much just stealing from people in the game, but not, not real people, just NPCs. Sometimes you're going to take damage when you do this, but the higher level you're thieving, the less chance they're going to catch you when you're trying to pickpocket them. Alright, so let's do this. Alright, we got to pickpocket this guy right here. Okay, you just right click him and pickpocket. And he caught us. Alright, let's try that again. It can actually stop you for a few seconds from being able to uh, continue. And he caught us again. Okay, let's give this one last try. Okay, here we go. I pickpocketed him. And see, it just gives you some thieving experience. And usually you steal some money from them. Or you steal some type of like gem or some type of item like that. Alright guys, now we're going to check out the bank in RuneScape. Which is actually pretty good compared to most um, games. Because you could actually organize it pretty well. I'm going to give you guys a quick look. So let's put a couple things in here. And you see how there's like a plus mark here? That can start a new tab. So you can, um, see now you can go here and you can put all things of the same group there. For example, um, all your fishing stuff in one spot, all your cooking stuff. So it's pretty useful. So guys, that looks like that's about all the tutorial is going to go through in teaching you um, about the skills. So I'm going to go over the last few that it doesn't go over in the game so that you get an understanding of them. This one right here is called Runecrafting, and I believe you actually have to complete a quest to unlock um, using this skill. And what it does is um, it's basically crafting runes, and runes are used to use your magic skill, which is pretty much you being a mage. So it's pretty useful because runes could actually be pretty expensive, so it's good to craft your own. Another one of the skills is construction, and this is going to be used for the player housing in the game. So this is for crafting your house, and the higher you level that, the cooler house you're going to be able to build. Um, agility. Agility is basically, it's actually pretty interesting. It's used to like cross like rivers and stuff need a high agility level and um, basically you level it by going through like pretty cool obstacle courses and stuff so it's it's a um, it's a skill you don't really see in many MMORPGs another one is herb lore which is pretty much just crafting potions you just need um, herbs and you craft potions so that one's pretty simple um, fletching that one is going to be crafting bows and arrows, and you do that by um, getting wood, and wood is from the woodcutting skill. So a lot of the skills work together, which is pretty useful. Another thing that works with woodcutting is fire making, which is pretty much just using your tinder box on a piece of wood is going to start a fire, and you're going to use that to cook a lot of the time too, so it goes with fishing. So most of the skills are kind of intertwined together. Another one of the interesting skills in this game is Slayer. And Slayer is actually going to be kind of like a quest in most MMORPGs. The quests in RuneScape are really intricate and have a great story. They're not just kill something. And Slayer is, you're going to go to a guy called the Slayer Master and he's going to give you a task to kill something. Like a hundred of something. Usually it's a lot of something. But the way I think of it, it's just like a quest in any other MMORPG. Um, let's see, the only other one we haven't gone over is summoning and dungeoneering. Okay, summoning is basically going to be able to help you summon pets. And the pets, some of the pets are going to help you in combat, but other ones are going to help you with your skills like fishing. Some of them are going to do some fishing with you, and so they're gonna, there's going to be all different kinds of pets that you could summon in this game, which is pretty cool. And the last thing is dungeoneering, which is pretty much for the dungeons in this game and you level it up by doing dungeons. And you can actually get some pretty cool gear, and the dungeons are pretty awesome in this game, so it's worth checking those out, definitely. I think I covered about all I need to uh, for the first look of RuneScape. As you can tell, this is a game with a high level of crafting, so people who love crafting are going to want to try this game. 
So I hope everyone enjoyed my review. Check out my website, popularmmos.com, and soon I will also be posting a features video on RuneScape, which is going to consist of some of the higher level content in the game. Because if you're going to want to play a game, you're going to want to know what you're going to be doing at the higher levels, because it's obviously different than this character I just started. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Subscribe to my channel. There will be more soon. See ya.